Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Barry Tone, and today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys how to use Vulkan on the PC with the Xenia emulator. But before we get started this video, please make sure you guys you like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, first things first, you guys are gonna need to go to the configuration settings on the Xenia emulator. If you guys don't know where to find the configuration settings, if you at least open the Xenia emulator at least once or play the game at least once and save it, you guys should have these exact same contexts in your folder if you make a, a dedicated folder for the Xenia emulator. And then when you see on xenia.config, or you, you may have something similar to this or something the exact same thing, it's very important for you guys to find this um, type of application. And what I usually do is I left click and I open it with Notepad++. You guys can also open it with the regular Notepad, but Notepad++ is a little bit more helpful for me. So I just open it with Notepad++. And then basically where you find the Vulkan um, um, settings. Now do keep in mind, Vulkan is still is in beta stage. Do keep in mind with that. If you feel like your PC can handle Vulkan or handle any glitches or technical issues with Vulkan, as I'm recording this video, please make sure that you do keep in mind it's in a beta stage. It's not even even the base canary version, um, version of um, Xenia is not stable yet. All right, so first things first, you guys are gonna look down and I believe it's under, if I can't find out this, all right, under Vulcan. Now, as you guys may know on how this um, system works, it's pretty simple. It works on a number a numbering system, one through three, um, one being the default and three being the highest, and also a true and false. True means obviously you turn it on, false, that means you always you want it to be turned off and disabled. So as you guys see right here, the first thing I see on these on these tabs when I go to Vulcan is on false and it's on the lowest um, possible number it possibly can be in. So for you guys to enable Vulcan, you guys have to physically turn all these things into true and then put the number into three. And after you do that, you go to save as, and then basically this is the same. And then you save that as that. And after that, you're basically all good to go. That's basically about it. That's how you enable Vulcan. I know when you go on the Xenia application, there's not much settings due to the fact that the people, um, the devs that are on the Xenia team trying to make this emulator as simple and easy to use as possible. Um, I get what the model they're trying to go for, but sometimes not too many people like that model. But yeah, guys, that's basically about it. If you guys enjoy this video or find this video any help at all, feel free to like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And yeah, guys, this is your boy Rachel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.